Hello guys, welcome to the Starship YouTube channel. Today in our biology series, we are going to discuss some life ask questions on the topic of respiration. Check the description on this video to see the link on our respiration tutorial. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also share this video with your friends. So our first question goes like this. The end product of glycolysis in plants and animals is dash. A. I have pyruvic acid. B. I have aspartic acid. C. I have citric acid. D. I have malic acid so the answer is a pyruvic acid because that's the first stage in cellular respiration that will oxidize glucose to pyruvate or pyruvic acid so the answer is pyruvic acid so our next question goes this way the significance of respiration in organism is the dash a i have oxidation of glucose to give us its energy b i have breakdown of waste material for elimination c i have breathing oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide then d i have build up of physical material in the body so our answer is a Respiration is simply concerned with oxidation of food material to give us energy for our metabolic activities. So our next question is, what is the name of the respiratory organ of the crab? A. I have tubos. B. I have trachea. C. I have piracles. D. I have lungs. And E. I have gills. So the answer is E. Gills. Because crabs live in water, so gills helps them to respirate. So our next question is, a grasshopper respire by means of dash. A. I have lung book. B. I have have gills c i have lungs d i have antenna y e i have trachea tube so the answer is d e trachea tube like i told you in the tutorial that's why is an insect an insect they respirate through the tracheal system so the answer is trachea tube our next option is the glottis is the opening which leads to the dash a i have osophagus b i have larynx so c i have nostrils d i have pharynx y e i have mouth our answer is b B, larynx. This is the upper part of the trachea, that's the windpipe. So the epigot is protect this upper part to avoid food bacteria from entering the windpipe. So one side is larynx. Our next question is the main respiratory organs of whales is the dash. A, I have skin. B, I have lungs. C, I have spiracle. Then D, I have gills. Whales stays in water, right? Nice. But one thing you have to know is that whales are mammals. So our answer is B, because mammals they respire through the lungs. And our next question is, long books are used for respiration in the dash a i have spiders b i have insects c i have millipedes and d i have snail so our answer is a spiders spiders use long books for respiration our next question is the correct pathway for the movement of air during respiration in insects is dash a i have piracle to trachea to tracheus to body tissue b i have trachea to spiracle to tracheolus to body tissue c i have essac to spiracle to trachea to body tissue then d i have spiracle to sac to trachea to body tissue so our answer is a from spiracle to trachea that will end in tracheolus to now end in body tissues that the body cell so our next question goes like this in the mammalian respiratory system exchange of gases occurs in the dash a i have lungs b i have bronchi c i have bronchiolus y d i have alveoli so our answer is alveoli is the terminal end of the bronchioles where the gas exchange really occurs in the lung. The answer is the alveoli. Our next question is identify which of the following are features of the vertebrate respiratory surface. We have one is moist, we have two vascularized, we have three semi permeable, and we have four freely permeable, then we have five dry. The question asks you to identify which of these is a feature of the respiratory surface. So A is one, two, three. B is one, two, five. C is is two three five d is one two four five y e is one three five so if you if you look at this option that they gave us here one thing that is very very important is that the very surface can never be dry because if it's dry that means oxygen cannot diffuse to the tissue so if you look here now we are going to remove the whole five options here option that has five so our answer is a because its surface can never be dry so it must be moist so all these other options has five in them so these are not our answers our answer is a is a it must be moist must be vascularized and then it must also be what semi permeable so our answer is a so our next question is the method of respiration found in adulthood are dash a i have cutaneous buccal and olfactory. b i have cutaneous and pulmonary c i have buccal and pulmonary y d i have cutaneous buccal and pulmonary so um our answer is d like i told you in the tutorial so the the, the frog the frog has a major adaptive organs that help them 
them to respire in different environments. So cutaneous is through the skin, buccal is through the mouth, while pulmonary is, is through the lungs. So our answer is D. Now our next question is, which of the following statements is true of inhalation of air by man? A. I have ribs erased. Ribs are not raised, sorry. B. I have diaphragm erased. C. I have intercostals muzzle relaxes. D. I have pressure of the thoracic cavity increases. Then lastly, E. Size of thoracic cavity increases. So which of the following statements is true during inhalation? So obviously, in inhalation, the ribs are raised. So this is not our answer. It's not true. So also, in, in, in inhalation, the diaphragm is not raised. The diaphragm is flattened. Also, in inhalation, the intercostal muscle contracts. So it's not our answer. Also, in inhalation, the pressure in thoracic cavity decreases. That's why air has to rush in there to feed that low pressure chamber. So this is also wrong. So the correct answer is E. The size of the cavity increases because the ribs tend to move upward and forward and increase the thoracic cavity. So this is our answer. Nice. Let's move forward. The sheet of muscle that separates the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity is the dash. A. I have intercostal muscle. B. I have pleural membrane. C. I have pericardium. Then D. I have diaphragm. So our answer is D. Diaphragm. Separate the thorax from the abdomen. So our next question is when the intercostal muscle contracts during inspiration, the rib move dash. A. I have upward and forward. B. I have downward and inward. C. I have upward and inward. Y. D. I have downward and forward. When you fire that during inhalation, you as you can see. So, our rib moves forward and upward. Our answer is A. During respiration, air circulates around plant tissues via the dash. A. I have lenticel. B. I have stomata. C. I have guard cell. D. I have intercellular spaces. So, our answer is D. Intercellular spaces. Next question. The function of lenticel is dash. A. To remove excess water in plant. B. To absorb water from atmosphere. C. For excess exchange. D. To absorb light. So, our answer is C. For or gaseous exchange. So lenticels cells and stomata, they are the structure in the plant that are used for respiration. So lenticels cells is used for gaseous exchange. The answer is C. Next question. In woody stems, gaseous exchange takes place through the dash. Through the dash. A. I have microfiles. B. I have lenticels. C. I have stomata. D. I have vessels. So answer is B. Lenticels. They are found in the stems. Remember why this young man is found in the leaves. Stomata. Investigation of respiration in green plants is carried out in the dark because of dash. A. I have respiration occurs in plants in the dark. B. I have light is, is destructive to protect plants. C. I have respiration is faster than for the stasis in the presence of light. Why D. I have CO2 released in presence of light is used for photosynthesis. So, why do we carry out respiration in plants in a dark environment? Which of these options clearly justifies that? So, our answer is D. Because the CO2 that will go from the experience, if you can't the experiments in the presence of light, the CO2 that we got is going to be used up in photosynthesis. Synthesis. That's why this experiment is carried out in the dark. So that CO2 cannot be used up in photosynthesis. Because once that happens, it's going to alter the whole experiment. Our answer is D. CO2 released in the presence of, of light is used up in photosynthesis of the plants. Next question. The opening of the soma is controlled by the dash. A. Presence of guard cell. B. I have decrease in solute concentration. C. I have increase in solute concentration in guard cell. Why do I have presence of a pore. So our answer is C. Increase in solute concentration. Because what happens is that when the solute concentration of the, of the guard cells increase, water molecules tend to enter into the cell. And once they enter the cell, this cell tends to be so turgid. And once they become so turgid, the opening tends to increase. You know what happens in osmosis? In, an increase in solute concentration is going to trigger water molecules to move into that particular cell. Right, to dilute it. Right, so that, that's what happens in, in the guard cells. And once this happens, the guard cells are going to open up. So that's how the stomach opens up for respiration in the plants. Next question is, the formation of water in tissue respiration results from the dash. A. I have breakdown of water molecule. B. I have reduction of oxygen by hydrogen. C. I have reduction of CO2. Y. D. I have formation of water molecule.
So this water in this equation of respiration, where is it? How 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 do how do we get this water? Nice. So our answer is B. Hydrogen when it reduces oxygen, water is being formed. So this water is coming from reduction of of oxygen by hydrogen. The gas produced during tissue respiration can be identified using dash. I have a calcium hydroxide. B. I have calcium carbonate, copper sulfate. Why D? I have sodium hydroxide. So our answer is A. Calcium hydroxide. This stands for lime water and the, the product of respiration which is CO2, CO2 gas, okay, it combines with this calcium hydroxide to make it to be milky. So our answer is A, calcium hydroxide. Next question. The oxidative part of respiratory process take place in the dash. A, mitochondria. B, ribosomes. C, endoplasmic reticulum. D, Golgi body. Our answer is A, mitochondria. Like I told you in the tutorial, respiration basically happens in two parts of the cell, either in the mitochondria or in the cytoplasm. And if you watch here, there's no cytoplasm here. No cytoplasm, no cytoplasm. So our answer is mitochondria. Our next question is: Yeast, yeast respires yeast respire anaer anaerobically to convert simple sugar to carbon dioxide and dash. A. I have acid. B. I have oxygen. C. I have water. D. I have alcohol. So our answer is D. Alcohol because C is the product of, of, of yeast, yeast respiration is O2 and alcohol. The enzymes of glycolytic pathway are found in the dash. A. Mitochondria. B. Gastric juice. C. Plasma. D. Cytoplasm. Glycolysis is the first stage of respiration and of first stage of cellular respiration and it occurs in the cytoplasm. So that's a wrap, guys. This question was coined from jump past questions. And if you are fine, if you find it hard to solve these questions, click the link in this video to watch our tutorial on respiration. If you have any question of any type, let me know in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and also turn on the notification button for now. Bye bye.